Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to install and set up Google Backup and Sync. Google introduced the Backup and Sync app that replaces the Google Drive and Photos apps. So let me show you how to set it up. It is an app that you need to download and you'll find the link to the official download page in the description section. Start by clicking the Download Backup and Sync button and then just sign a life away. Oops, I mean, agree to the terms of service. You will see this dialog box pop up. Click the Save File button. You will then have to go to your browser download section. I'm using Firefox here. Click the downloaded file and you will see a similar dialog box. Click Yes. It will start the download process and complete the installation. You can then close out of here and you will see this welcome page. If you don't see this page, go to your desktop and then click on the System Tray icon and then click on the Google Backup and Sync icon. And at the welcome page, click on the Get Started button. Enter your Gmail address here. And then click Next. Then enter your password and sign in. After you do this, the first step is to choose folders from your computer to continuously back up. Click the Got It Now button. And here is where you choose the specific folders. By default, it chooses your desktop, documents, and pictures folders. You can click on this Choose Folder link to choose specific folders. For now, I'm just going to choose the Pictures folder. In this section below, you can choose the quality of the pictures. If you go with the High Quality option, you can avail of the free unlimited storage. And in this bottom section, you can check this box to upload photos and videos to Google Photos. And then click Next. In this next step, you choose which files you sync from your drive to a folder on your computer. Click the Got It button and here is where you choose to sync your drive to your computer. You can click this Change link if you want to change the folder location. And in this section, you choose whether you sync everything or sync only specific folders. And finally click Start. For now, I'm not going to choose this option. And once you click the Start button, you will see this dialog box in the bottom right corner of your screen. You can click the Open Google Drive button to access your Google Drive online. As you can see in this left sidebar, you have a computer section and it backs up and syncs folders using the same file structure on your computer. Keep in mind that depending on the number of files and folders you choose, this process could take a long time, but it will work in the background. Well, hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.